So Bill Maher invited Milo Yiannopoulos to be on his show this week, and uh, Jeremy Scahill pulled out of the show as a result of it. Now, uh, we covered Jeremy's comment on it and what he said when he pulled out the other day, and um, now Bill Maher has responded to that. Now, before I continue, let me just say, as you know, I've tried to insist upon in the previous segments, I love Jeremy Scahill. Jeremy Scahill has done some amazing work, Some, honestly, some of the best journalistic work I've ever seen. He did, uh, Blackwater was an amazing book, really eye-opening about private Christian fundamentalist mercenary armies that the U.S. was using, um, and probably still is to a certain extent. And he also did Dirty Wars, the movie Dirty Wars, which goes and, you know, exposes the drone war for the civilian massacring disaster that it is, and the terrorist program that it is, where we kill 90% the wrong people, innocent people, with drones. So I have nothing but love for uh, Jeremy Scahill. That being said, he did pull out of Bill Maher uh, and the show over Milo Yiannopoulos appearing with Bill. So here's Mars' response to Jeremy's comment. Now, just to sum up Jeremy's comment real quick, he said, Look, man, I love real time. I love the people on real time. They're like a family to me. I have nothing but respect for them. I even have nothing but respect for Bill, though I massively disagree with him on certain things like the issue of Islam and Muslims. Um, but I'm pulling out because I don't think this guy Milo needs a, a platform. They have a right to bring him on, but I don't want to be affiliated with that in any way. And as a result of that, I'm just going to pull out. So, Marr replied and said this, My comments on Islam have never veered into vitriol. Liberals will continue to lose elections as long as they follow the example of people like Mr. Scahill, whose views veer into fantasy and away from bedrock liberal principles like equality of women, respect for minorities, separation of religion and state, and free speech. If Mr. Yiannopoulos is indeed the monster Scahill claims, and he might be, nothing could serve the liberal cause better than having him exposed on Friday night. Okay. Now, to Mars' point on uh, Islam and Muslims, there are times where I totally agree with Bill Maher for, with comments he makes on the doctrine of Islam. I'm an atheist. I disagree with all religion. I think it is all irrational by its nature. Um, it's a book that claims to be from God, and you're supposed to uncritically accept it. Wrong. Not going to do that. I think that's ridiculous. You're sacrificing your mind and you're sacrificing your rationality and your independence. So oftentimes I agree with him totally when he talks about Islam, when he talks about Christianity, when he talks about all the religions. Uh, there are times where I disagree with him on Muslims and maybe his overfocus at times that uh, I start to cringe a little bit and go, even if he doesn't mean it in the way it, the way it's coming across is a way where people are going to recoil and he's creating more enemies than friends. So, oftentimes I agree with him on Islam, but then there are times I uh, disagree with him on Islam. Okay. But to get to the the main point here, where he's saying, look, liberals are going to lose elections if uh, they basically continue to act like this. That, you know, since Milo Yiannopoulos is a loathsome asshole, he should therefore, like, we should... He should never be invited anywhere. He should never give his speeches anywhere. I agree with Mar on that point, man. I do. Uh, I think, even though it's not Jeremy Scahill's intention, and it's not many people's intention on the left, to come across in this sort of babyish way, I mean, that's how it comes across to anybody who's not already a committed, you know, super strong leftist. Um, so, in other words, to moderate liberals, to virtually all conservatives, to independents, to the, I think, the majority of the American people. You pulling out over him being a guest makes you look like, and again, I have nothing but love and respect for Jeremy Scahill, so I'm not doing this out of scorn, but you look like a little bitch. You do. And, you know, again, you're going to make the argument, yeah, but guys, he's so far out of the realm of respectability, and he says so many things that are just so obviously bigoted, and he's a bad person that I need to 
highlight that. But you're not, that's the thing is you're not actually highlighting that. By pulling out, now all the focus is on, look at how these liberals are such bitches and they can't tolerate dissenting opinions. Like, I get it, Jeremy. I think you're right that Milo Yiannopoulos is outside of the realm of respectability and he's either an idiot and a moron or he's an ignorant liar or he's, he is spreading misinformation. He is spreading hate. But I actually, I agree with Mar when he says, you know, so he'll have him exposed. I think sunlight is the best disinfectant. I think, you know how I learned Milo Yiannopoulos is a loathsome prick? I listened to him. I wouldn't have known he was a loathsome prick if I didn't listen to him. But, you know, when you, you're acting like you got to keep him away from the masses, because if the masses hear it, obviously they'll be convinced by his nonsense. I disagree. Maybe I have a higher opinion of the masses than you do, but if the ACLU can defend neo-Nazis as they did, the American Civil Liberties Union, viewed as a leftist group, liberal, leftist, leftist, they defended neo-Nazis to march through a predominantly Jewish town because they said, look, that's what America is. You have free speech rights, even if it's the most gross fucking speech there is. Unless it's libel, slander, or a direct threat of violence, you're allowed to do it. Now, I get it. In this case, it's not literally, like, constitutional rights of free speech because this isn't the government censoring anybody. I understand that. But it's still the principle of the thing. The principle of letting even the most loathsome asshole speak. Because, Jeremy, don't you realize this could easily be flipped on you? I don't think he gets that. Like, there are people who listen to you, and they're going to be wrong when they say it, but they'll say, he's a commie. He's a communist. Communism has been responsible for the deaths of tens of millions of people in history. You know, this guy is a, is a traitor and he's treasonous. Because look at that. He exposed President Obama killing civilians in Pakistan and Yemen and Somalia with the drone war. And because you're exposing the deaths of civilians, you're increasing recruitment for Al-Qaeda and jihadists. So you, sir, are a traitor. And we're not going to invite you to speak anywhere. You shouldn't be allowed to speak anywhere because you're hateful and I'm offended by it. Would you accept that? You'd say, I don't give a fuck if you're offended by it, right? Correct, because that's the right position. It's the same thing with Milo. Now again, I happen to agree with you and disagree with Milo, but Jeremy, to a Ted Cruz fan, you and I are the epitome of evil. So once you allow that standard to be the case, once you allow the standard of because somebody is viewed as hateful and because somebody is offensive, we're going to ban them. Well, then you and I get banned places. Glenn Greenwald gets banned places. Noam Chomsky gets banned places. He said things like the U.S. is the number one terrorist nation. Now, you look at his arguments for it and they're sound as a motherfucker. But there are people who are going to hear that and in their mind, that is the same kind of rhetoric that you and I hear when we hear the fear-mongering bigotry that Milo Yiannopoulos has against immigrants, for example. So you got to let everybody speak. And here's the most important point. Now what you want to do is let Milo talk and he gets to fill the dead air and Bill will be there to rebut him and I'm sure he'll do an okay job on some issues. But then you had an opportunity Jeremy, to come out later and say, hey, I was backstage. I heard all that because Milo's doing the first interview. Here's where he's wrong. Here's why he's a loathsome asshole. Here's why he's a bigot. And you lay it out, and I'm pretty sure your argument's going to be stronger than his. So, I mean, I think you're missing an opportunity. Now, furthermore, I just want to be clear about something. I actually would agree with Jeremy if both of them were on the panel because then, then you're setting it up as like a 50-50 thing. Like, oh, this is just Milo's opinion, and this is just Jeremy's opinion, and they can argue it out. That's a, that's a misleading setup, because it's like having a climate change denier and a climate uh, change person who believes in climate science there, and then you present it on CNN like a 50-50 thing, or evolution versus intelligent design. Oh, have him argue like it's 50-50. It's not 50-50. We have the fucking answers, okay? So don't set it up like a debate when it ain't a debate. By the same token, if it was put forward as a debate, like Scahill versus uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, then I would agree with Scahill, and you, you don't need to debate this clown who's a fucking liar and an ignorant person and a bigot and he says shitty things, but I am in favor of you if he runs his mouth and spews all the falsehoods and you come out after and correct his ass, that's the best case scenario. 
So I wouldn't have pulled out, Jeremy. Look, man, I know you mean well, but it does come across like you're a whiny, pampered little prick. I mean, and that's how all these college kids, when they protest conservative speakers, whether it's Steven Crowder or Ben Shapiro or Milo Yiannopoulos, you come across like pampered little whiny pricks. <laughs> My safe space. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Even if you don't realize, you think it's like a heroic move and I'm standing on principle. It, the principle you're apparently standing on is don't invite on people who have odious opinions. Where do we draw that line? Don't allow on Milo. Okay. Don't allow on uh, Southern Republicans. <laughs> Almost all of them are fucking hateful bigots. Don't allow on any conservative. I don't know where that line is, man. So I would just let everybody talk and there are going to be a lot of shitty ideas out there. But I do think in the long run, the good ideas beat the shitty ideas bar any, you know, extenuating circumstance. And, um, have more faith in the fact that people can see through this buffoon shock jock. And I don't think you're doing that.